episode of DNews is brought to you by Audible. Your tongue can detect sour, sweet, bitter, savory, salty, and now carby? Hey folks, Lacey Green here for D News. I've got a trippy study for you today. If you're into nutrition and working out and all that healthy stuff, you probably already know that sugar and carbohydrates which break down into sugar translates into energy. Carbs are actually humans' main source of energy, so they're important and especially helpful if you're going to do an intense workout. But we know from other studies that it takes about an hour for those carbs and sugars to break down and reach your muscles. So why is it that athletes experience a quick burst of energy so soon after they've had some Gatorade or an energy bar? Scientists are on the case. In a new study published in the journal Appetite, scientists have observed an immediate jolt in brain activity when your tongue is just momentarily exposed to carbohydrates. So, you know, you're not imagining it. Scientists had athletes swish in their mouths with a carbohydrate-loaded solution and saw a 30% increase in brain activity in the areas related to physical activity and sensory perception almost immediately. No additional brain activity was recorded with a carbless but identically flavored liquid, nor a flavorless and carbless liquid which served as the control group. Another study a few years back in the Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism found similar results. Those who merely rinsed their mouths with carbohydrate drinks were able to last much longer during endurance sports. So what this suggests is that the boost we get from consuming carbs may be more related to our tongue than our digestive system. It's the taste buds, and more specifically, oropharyngeal receptors that are differentiating the carbs on our tongue to let the brain know, hey baby, the energy is on the way, so you can rev up motor functioning now because those energy stores will be replenished later. So this explains why we get a burst of energy before the glucose is processed by our muscles. It also explains why diet foods might not provide the same satisfaction as the real deal. It's not being picked up by those taste receptors. This could mean a whole new horizon of diet foods in the future that stimulate your tongue's sixth sense, the carbohydrate sense. I've recently been reading up on the macronutrients and how our bodies process them, and I read Good Calories, Bad Calories by Gary Taubes, which you can listen to for free on audiblepodcast.com slash dnews. It also supports our show, which we always appreciate. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon with more science updates.